Hi, my name is Chris Centeno. I'm a physician that has been doing orthopedic stem cell work longer than any other physician in the United States. I invented much of this field. So I was recently contacted by a physician colleague who was really concerned because he went to a promotional event for an amniotic stem cell clinic that this chiropractic group was presenting. And I thought it was really important for us to go over why that's not real and why it's a little bit pushing the envelope of fraud. So we asked the question a long time ago, whether or not amniotic fluid or amniotic tissues actually had stem cells because we were interested in those products if they did have stem cells. And it's all over the internet right now. You can see lots of folks advertising that they've got magic amniotic stem cells. There's just one little problem. It's fiction. And why is it fiction? Because we did the basic science to look at all of this. We looked at whether or not these products had any living cells. We looked at whether or not these products helped older stem cells. We looked at whether or not these products had any growth factors that might be useful for patients. So this is actually one of the research scientists that worked on this project. And he used sophisticated equipment just like this to see if there were any living stem cells in amniotic fluid or amniotic tissues. And there were no living cells. The cells were dead. That's a problem, obviously, because there's lots of clinics advertising that these preps actually have live cells. My mother once said, if it sounds too good to be true, it isn't true. And we see that again in some of the advertising now for stem cell clinics. Uh, I just saw one the other day that said that 60 out of 60 patients had pain that went from an eight to a zero. Give me a break. It doesn't happen in medicine. It doesn't happen in any area of medicine. It doesn't even happen in treating an infection with antibiotics. At Regenix, we've looked at the long-term safety of our bone marrow stem cell procedure through a nonprofit registry just like this. And we've tracked 2,372 patients or 3,000 procedures out to nine years to make sure that we know that this stuff is safe. Compare that to that there hasn't been one study ever performed on the injection safety of amniotic stem cells in knees or hips or shoulders. We really don't know whether they're safe for this use. In fact, they're not even indicated in their FDA registration for that use. So getting a stem cell procedure done in a chiropractic office or an acupuncturist office or even a family doctor's office isn't really the same as getting it done in a office or a procedure suite that's set up to do this kind of work. So we're gonna go through a little bit of that right now. So you can see here, musculoskeletal ultrasound that's designed to make sure we place cells in certain parts of the musculoskeletal system. We've got monitoring that's full surgical monitoring to make sure that you're doing just fine as the patient. We've got oxygen, which is not something you're gonna see in a chiropractor's office or an acupuncturist office. We've got advanced fluoroscopy imaging so that we can image your spine and place this stuff in specific areas of the spine. So being in the right place in a equipped room that can handle all of those things that could happen is critical. That's why we have equipment like this, a crash cart, an automated defibrillator. And we have doctors that know how to use that if something went wrong. And that's very, very different than doing this type of procedure in a chiropractor's office or an acupuncturist office where that equipment is not available, where you don't have medical professionals who know what to do when something goes wrong. 